Hey, welcome to the final module of Microsoft 365 MS 900 Fundamentals. If you have listened to the previous video and taken time to go through this entire course module, I really appreciate your time and effort. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor today for this Microsoft 365 Fundamentals course. The final module is called Microsoft 365 Pricing and Support. And the first lesson what we are going to learn today is Microsoft 365 Pricing and Support. After this lesson, you should be able to differentiate between the different Microsoft 365 subscription options. You would be able to manage your Microsoft 365 subscription by yourself, add or remove a license from a user, and you will learn how to manage your Microsoft 365 billing as well. And finally, you would be able to explain the typical Microsoft 365 lifecycle phases. As you have learned in the previous modules, Microsoft 365 is a complete intelligent software as a service solution that includes Office 365, Windows 10, and Enterprise Mobility Plus Security, all bundled in a single subscription. Please note that the plans, the exact set of features, pricing, and licensing requirement can vary between different countries and regions. So what are the plans which is included in Microsoft 365? First is Microsoft 365 versus Microsoft 365 Enterprise. Microsoft 365 Enterprise provide enterprise class services to your organization that want a productivity solution that include a robust threat protection, security, compliance, and analytics features. There are two available plans for Microsoft 365 Enterprise. This will letting you further refine what's included in your implementation, E3 and E5. E5 includes all the same features as E3 plus the latest advanced threat protection, security, and collaboration as well. Then there is Microsoft 365 Business. Microsoft 365 Business is designed for small and medium-sized organizations like Microsoft 365 Enterprise. Microsoft 365 Business offers the full set of Office 365 productivity tools and includes security and device management features. It does not include some of the more advanced information protection, compliance, or analytics tools. Then there is Microsoft 365 Education. Microsoft 365 Education is available for educational organizations Academic licenses can be tailored to fit any institution's need, including productivity and security solutions for faculty, staff, and students. Then there is Microsoft 365 First Line Worker. Microsoft 365 F1 subscription plan connect your first line workers such as customer service representative, support, and repair technicians, and service personnel through a purposeful tool and resources that allow them to do their best work. While Microsoft 365 F1 has many of the same features and services of Microsoft 365 E3, including Yammer, uh, SharePoint Online, Teams, and Staff Hub collaboration tools. So how do you manage your subscription in your Microsoft 365? You can simply manage your Microsoft 365 via your Microsoft 365 admin portal. Administrators can view, billing, and manage their subscription in their subscription window. As highlighted in the following figure, the More Actions menu in the subscription window is where administrators can add a partner of record, edit the subscription address, cancel your subscription, install software that is part of your Microsoft 365, etc. Just learn about how to manage licenses in Microsoft 365. When you buy a Microsoft 365 subscription, you specify the number of licenses that you need based on how many people you have in your organization. If you have more than one subscription, you can assign licenses to different people for each subscription. The Microsoft 365 Admin Center is where you create a user account and then assign license to them. You can also remove a license from one user and reassign it to a different person as well. After you assign license, your next question will be, how do I manage the billing in Microsoft 365? Billing in Microsoft 365 is also managed from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The options available and 
pricing associated with any account depend on your subscription and number of licensed user. Each service has a specified price that typically rated on a per user or per month basis. You can review and modify all billing aspect in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, including current number of purchase licenses, how many of those licenses that are allocated to users for each service, any current charges due on your account, payment method and frequency monthly or annual, additional services or features you might opt in or add to your subscription, billing notification where you can provide a list of email accounts of those should receive automated billing notification and renewal reminders for your Microsoft 365 subscription. And that concludes the end of lesson one, which is Microsoft 365 pricing and support. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the lesson two and the final module and the final lesson for this Microsoft 365 fundamentals, which is support in Microsoft 365. So let's head back and watch that video.